So first off, sorry for spamming all the technical threads on EU86 and E86 IRL. That was me, sorry. But now the car is actually working. Finally, um, I was having a right pain in the ass problem with hunting. Um, the car would not start at all from cold. And it would go between sort of 1,000 and 3,500 RPM, just up and down like a fucking yo-yo. So, um, yeah, but it's sorted now. Um, being a busy boy, I've started painting the front bumper, which is there, I'll show you in a second. Um, and just sticking little bits and pieces back on the car. Um, got the carbon bonnet back on it, got a CD player in it now, because um, the Japanese love to absolutely do something with their wiring. I don't know what it is with stereos, they just bang it together. They do everything else to the best of their ability, and then stereos, it's just chuck it in. Um, so, yeah, it's been uh, it's been all go. I've literally not been at the garage now for, well, most evenings, come back from work and uh, go straight in, so. Um, I'm surprised I'm not single yet, but anyway, here we are. So here's a bumper, like I was saying, I've been painting it. Um, you'll see it's, a, it's an early Terreno, so it's obviously got the smaller of the the indicators there. When I got the bumper, it was actually from a white over black, so it was, uh, I had the white stripes just going down here. You can kind of see where they were, um, but the paint's actually done a really good job of it. Now, I wasn't wanting to just paint over it the normal gloss because you just lose all the effect of it. So I managed to find textured paint, um, which is this stuff here. Um, HP Body Spray. Um, now, I was a toss-up between this and the U-Pol number four. Um, but with u Paul number four, it doesn't really... Well, it's not pocket-friendly, we'll say. It's like 20 quid a tin. Um, and I got that for £5.90 a tin, so it's it's far better. Um, and it actually comes out with the same finish. Now, you, if you have a wee look, I mean, I don't know what it's like to see, but, you know, it's it's still got an absolutely fantastic finish on it. Which is what I was wanting. I was wanting to try and keep the, the OEM look. And then, if I take you down to the back of this bumper here, this one's not been sprayed yet. You can see it's kind of keeping the kind of keeping the, the look the same, so I thought, well, why not? Freshen it up a bit. Um so yeah now it's gonna be um going on the car once it's dried. Uh, I'll give it now a few coats and it should be quite nice once it's done. Um next up, which wasn't in the other video, carbon. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Uh this is a Meister R Carbon Bonnet by Rasty, if I am correct. Um, so it's like a carbon fibre overlay on fiberglass, I think. But I mean, the car, the thing weighs absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, now, the guy that I bought off of, um, he was a bit of an arse, as it turns out. Um, the whole thread was stripped that actually hold the bonnet on in the, you know, from to the hooks. There's only one bolt that was left, so I had to re-drill, re-thread it with like a helicoil type thread. Um, which is all right, it's now made it stronger, but when it got delivered, the corners all got cracked in it. So at the moment, I'm just doing that because I really don't have the fund right now to, to go to placing it. Um, so that's the carbon bonnet. It should look quite nice once it's coupled up with the newly painted front bumper and you can see there that was another wee mark from the, the shipping thanks assholes um, so yeah now moving on to the inside also got the windows back in as well that's probably an important thing so yeah here we go um, CD players in and yeah try and find a way to hold it in um, all the wiring. I just made a harness for it um, myself because I couldn't find one even though lots of places said that they had them. Um, so I just got some new speakers from Halfords because the OEM ones in it were absolutely, well they were shag, they weren't working at all. Um, and that's really about it. Got my Tom steering wheel in. Everything else is kind of coming together now so it's, it's quite nice. Yeah, another thing I forgot to mention as well is my headlights finally work. I'm after replacing every single control inside the car, 
uh, I decided, right, I'm going to take apart the headlight motors. So this is my old headlight motors here. Uh, on the face of it, they're they're all right. Um, I took one apart, and that was it. There you can see it's getting a light. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty well worn and pitted. Um, when I opened this up, that well, both of them actually. The only thing I can describe it as was it had like blue Lynx shower gel in it. They were absolutely fucking minging. Um, and the other thing that alerted me as well when I took it down because they were stored up there on hooks. Um, when I managed to take it down and actually put it back on, was water was pouring out of the tip of. I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one here. Um, so I was like, well, that's not exactly going to help matters um, with water pouring out. So I was a lovely guy, Andy, who sorted me out with some. And I was hoping and praying to God that these were going to work because since I got the car, the headlights have never worked. And that's the whole reason why I love this Renault is because of this. And it's like... So many feels, so many feels. So, yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah, I'll do another video later on, I suppose, once I get everything back together. So, ta-da. <laughs>